In this Roblox Studio tutorial, we are creating a healing circle that heals the player. It's activated when you click on the screen GUI image button. This area of effect healing ring also has a cooldown and sound effect added to it. I'll show you how to do this right now. Grab a new cylinder part and call it healing ring. Change the size to 0 0.2 comma 40 comma 40. And use the move tool to bring it up a bit. This is a healing spell. I'm going to use a bright green for the color. This part is going to be the outer edge of the ring. I am using neon for the material and changing the transparency to 0.3. We need to cut a hole in this circle. To do that, first duplicate the part. Just so I can see this part better, change the color to red. and resize it to 35. To make the negate work, just make the width a little bit bigger. Click on the model tab, and then the negate button. Now select both the negative part and the healing part, and click on Union. That's it, this is our outer ring for the healing spell. You could just use this as it is. But, I am going to add an inner circle to this, with high transparency, so you can just see it. Call this Union part Healing Ring. Okay, let's add the inner circle part now. Add a new cylinder part. Call this part inner heel. Change the color to lime green. Change the material to neon, and change the transparency to 0.8. For the size, change it to 0 0.2 comma, 35 comma, 35. Don't worry that these hill parts are not together. Our script will put them together. For an effect, I'm going to copy the glow from this lightning circle I did in an earlier video. The link will be in the description for the speed boost video which has the effect outlined in it. I'm just going to change the color of the glow and increase the size a bit. It just adds a nice effect to the healing spell. That completes the parts. Let's move these to server storage. And then work on adding the script to make it work. First, click the plus sign next to replicated storage and add a new remote event. Call this remote event Healing Ring with a capital H and capital R. Click the plus sign next to server script service and add a new script. Call this script healing script. Write this code out as shown. Pay attention to syntax and capital letters. For an in-depth explanation of this code, I will cover in Monday's scripting tutorial. Look for another video on that soon or check my scripting tutorial playlist. 
Okay, we need to add the screen GUI for this. So we have a button to click. Click on the plus sign next to starter GUI. And select screen GUI. On that screen GUI, click the plus sign and add an image button. Drag the image button to place it in the desired position. Add the script to this image button. Click the plus sign next to image button and select local script. Type out this code as shown, pay attention to syntax and capital letters. Okay, we forgot to add the cooldown text to our image button. Let's do that now. And come back to finish this script. Right click images and choose to add assets. This adds an image that I created for the image button. This is just a PNG image file. Once you have added the asset to your game you can use it. Select the image button and choose the image like this. I'm going to set background transparency to 1, to remove the background. Ok, now we can add the cooldown text. Click the plus sign next to the image button and select text label. Call this cooldown. Resize the label to fit the button. With cooldown selected let's change the following. Set background transparency to 1. Set text to 0. Set text color to white. Set text size to 40. Our script will show and hide this cooldown number. So we can hide it here for now. Set text transparency to 1. Ok, great. We have the cooldown text added, and the screen GUI image button for the player to click. Let's go back to our script to finish that. So, this line is storing the value of the cooldown text. Let's add some more lines to finish this script. Time to check if it all works. No, I'm clicking this but nothing is happening. That's okay, let me show you how to troubleshoot this, to see what we did wrong. Firstly, there's no error in the output, which is a bit strange. Let's stop this, and check our script. So, what I am looking for when troubleshooting, is to check the names for the image button, and cool down. To make sure that they match up with, what I added in the explorer. Then I want to check the position of the local script, and the line when it fires the event. This is the line when it fires the remote event. I need to make sure that I used healing ring with a capital H, and capital R, because that's what I call the remote event. Check in the healing ring script. Yes this looks fine. The next troubleshooting step, is to see if we are getting inside this function. To do that, I'm going to add a print line, and see if it prints something in the output. Ok, now it has decided to show us an error in the output. So that will help us. It is saying line 5 of our local script. That's our problem. So let's check that. Line 5 is saying. Look inside the parent of this script, and find an image button. However, in our case, the script is in the wrong place. Currently, the parent for the script is the actual image button. This is wrong, to fix this I need to move the script inside the screen GUI. Now line 5 reads correctly. The parent for the script is the screen GUI which has an image button inside it. Now it will work, let's check it. Yes, it's working now. My circle sizes are messed up while I was troubleshooting. You should be okay, since you added the correct size for the inner heel ring, which was 35. We need to destroy those circles after 4 seconds. And add the actual healing, so that our player's health increases. I'm just going to fix my inner heel circle size, yours should already be 35. Now I am adding the lines of code that are going to heal the player. This code is only going to heal the current player. I will add another video soon, with some modified code to this that will actually heal any player who touches the circle. For now, this will do to get it working. I've added this zombie so he attacks me, and I can heal the damage with our healing spell. You can see in the top right corner, my health bar is going down. And when I use the healing spell, it goes back up. Ok, that's working great now. Let's quickly add a sound effect, to this and we are done. 
under replicated storage, add a module script and call it audio player. With a capital A and capital P. I have covered this sound effects script before. If you need an explanation for this audio script, please check the sound video in the description. It will guide you through this. It's exactly the same. Otherwise, you can just copy the script from this video and it will work. Once you have that, we just need to add a few lines to our healing script to make this work. Add these lines as shown. With the ID number for the sound, you can use any sound ID from Roblox. And there we go, the sound effect completes it. You can move the character around while this healing spell is active. And as I said it is only healing the current player, and actually the ring is just visual. To make that work correctly, you need to modify the script, to check for a touched event. And that way any friendly players that touch the circle will also get healed. I will modify this script soon, and do another video for the area effect healing. I am now going to show you the completed scripts and settings, for everything related to this healing ring. Under server script service, you need a script called healing script. Write this code in this script. Under starter GUI, you need a screen GUI. With an image button and local script under it. And under the image button you need a text label for the cooldown text. Write the code shown on the screen, in this local script. These are the final settings I am scrolling through, on the image button etc. Under replicated storage, you needed a module script, called Audio Player, with a capital A and capital P. And we created a remote event, under replicated storage, called Healing Ring, with a capital H and capital R. That's the end of this tutorial, great work. We created a healing spell that heals the player, we created a GUI for the player to click to activate this spell. And we added a sound effect to it. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.